it was with this stud and she had came over to my dorm and I was nervous you know your favorite kink pegging is that a kink y'all okay so let me let y'all know how i just been making youtube videos and making youtube videos and making videos and making videos and making videos and i have not made one video about me like who am i you know what i'm saying all y'all know is what y'all see on twitter or x now you know what i'm saying or any other platform that you see me on all right so i asked instagram a few times actually but I asked my Instagram fans or my Instagram followers to tell me, you know, or ask me questions. Ask me questions about what, you know, they wanted to know about me. Stuff that ain't, you know, related to my job, basically. So I took a couple of questions from them. I wrote them down. I balled them up in this little thing. You see this little bowl? I don't know why it's in a bowl. This is just the first thing that I saw. But I balled them up. I put them up in here. And I am going to answer these questions oh wow and my first question is do you like country men absolutely baby L let me sh let me show you something i will be right back and i'm back do you see this right here this right here this right here. It don't get no more country than this, you hear me? So, yes, I do love me a country man. I love me a country man. So, if you're a country man, you might be my man. All right, next question. Boom. Oh, damn. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Favorite position. He be like, uh, 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 uh. I be like, uh, 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 uh. We be like, uh, 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 uh. Boom. Them three, right there. That one, two, and three, they're my favorites. On to the next, on, on to the next. It's hard to move on when you always regret one. Huh. I wonder sometimes. All right, next question. Because y'all will get distracted. Oh, my goodness. So, this question definitely sparked my interest, y'all, when I wrote it down. Because why do y'all think this? It say, how many thirsty white guys do you have worshiping your perfect booty on the regular? And I'm going to just say... Not enough. If you want that to be you, you know where to find me. Because I love me a good, what do y'all call it? Sugar daddy. Sugar daddy. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? I should like this question. In five years, y'all, I'm going to be old. <laughs> No, but for real, in five years, I will have my house by then. I should have a few more cars for Turo, uh, which is what I'm working on right now. Good investments, good properties. Um, and I want to have a stable relationship with someone. I don't want to necessarily say I want to be married or have kids at, in five years. But I do want a stable relationship for when that is time to come. And I want that with positive friends. Uh, and positive people, just positive energy and good networking and good stuff like that. Um, a lot of y'all gonna know my motherfucking name in five years. Y'all run this video back in five years and watch how much I have accomplished. Shit's gonna be fucking crazy. Zodiac. So, I'm an Aquarius. Gang gang. Gang gang. Ice cream so yummy. No, uh, but I'm an Aquarius, y'all, and my moon sign is Capricorn, and my rising sign is Cancer. 
So if you know, you know. If you don't know, you need to know. So go find out what that's about. But those are my three. Those are my big three. Aquarius, Sun, Capricorn, Moon, and Cancer Rising. Somebody asked me if I would be a rapper. Do I want to be a rapper? That's what they say. I would rap, but I don't really see myself being a rapper. Like, that's not just something that I want to do personally. Now, don't get me wrong. I like to perform. You know what I'm saying? Definitely like to perform. Definitely like to have a good time. But I don't think I want to be just a rapper. You know what I'm saying? Um, but if you want to give me some, you know what I'm saying, some lyrics or whatever to bust a quick one too, I could do that. If I spill drink on my clothes, I can do that. It don't matter because I buy me some more. Hey. Okay. Yes, so boom. Uh, no, I never thought about being a rapper for real. Where did I grow up? Hurst the motherfucking tail. Huh? We gon' hold it down. Y'all, I'm from the south side of Houston. I love Houston. I love my city, man. Oh my gosh, this is my first job. Okay, y'all, my first job was at Office Max. It's not even Office Max no more, y'all. It's called Office Depot everywhere. Office Max, Office Depot. They have merged into one. But I worked at Office Max. I worked there when I turned, as soon as I turned 16, I started working there. And then I decided to go apply to JCPenney's. And JCPenney's was going to pay me more money, so I was going to go to JCPenney's. But then, boom, Office Max was like, well, we want you to stay. So here's 10 cents more than what they're paying you so you can stay. So I stayed at Office Max for about two years as my first job. And it was quite easy. Really didn't do nothing. But sell printers and paper. Uh, this say, how'd you go viral? Now, I don't really know how to say this because there's no real algorithm to going viral. Like, and I really can't tell you what, like what. You know, eventually all my platforms just kind of started blowing up. So, my Instagram definitely blew up off the strength of um, me throwing this twerk video on there one day. I threw this twerk video up there one day. I woke up, that thing was at 300k views and it made no sense. So, there was that. And then, I guess I was super lit in Tennessee. Oh, I missed it. I was super lit in Tennessee and somebody shouted me out on Snapchat and I got a whole bunch of followers on Snap from there and then people started seeing me everywhere like when I would go out and stuff like that to the club I was always on people's Snapchat so I definitely became the hot topic you know out there but I can't really just tell you how I went viral because I really didn't do nothing specific I just put myself there how tall am I and how much do I weigh First of all, I don't ever ask no woman her weight, so I ain't answering that. Don't play with me. But I'm 5'7". Tall for a woman. Do you see a husband or children in your future? Okay, let me tell y'all something. Y'all think that adult stars don't have a livelihood outside of, you know, the adult stuff that they do. Well, in fact, they do. And then me being they, I have a life outside of this, outside of whatever. There are people that are very willing and accepting of what I do. I am very detailed and explain with what I do. And I ain't like everybody else. But what you see is what you get. So clearly pay attention to what you see because it's exactly what you get. Yes, I see a husband in my future. I possibly see kids. Um, I don't want to just 100% say yes, I see kids because I won't be sad if I don't have no kids. You get what I'm saying? I'll be grateful for kids, but I won't be like, oh my God, I never had kids. Walmart, you know? So I'm, you know, nothing like that. But I do want to be married. I want a husband. That thing say he ain't want go away. I want a husband. I'm happy to see my husband. I'm happy. I'm happy to see my husband. Your favorite kink? Pegging? Is that a kink? I'm gonna say that's a kink. So, that's my kink. I think you want me to say it again. Uh -uh. Get somebody else to do it. Somebody asked me if I had all sisters. All sisters as my siblings. The answer is no. I got a big old family. I got four sisters and three brothers. I got three older sisters. I'm lying. I got two older sisters. Two younger sisters. Two older brothers. And one younger brother. 
and they in my favorite tree, my family tree. I am the middle child, so I got only child syndrome. If you know, you know. If you got a weak family and you the middle child, you got only child syndrome. Cause so do I. So do I. My favorite cartoon growing up, Brandy and Mr. Whiskers. I like to think that people slept on that. I also like Cyber Chase. That was a really good cartoon for me. Uh, standing in my mom and had cable, you know what I'm saying? But when I was in my daddy house or whatever, Brandy and Mr. Whiskers was the go-to. I love me a good Brandy and Mr. Whiskers. That's y'all baby. Happy. But I knew they was going to stop um, airing it because it used to come on super, super late at night when I was supposed to be sleeping. I'd be up watching it because it came on later than everything else. So I'd take a nap just to make sure I was watching it. Uh, for y'all that don't know, I was military. Woo, woo, army. Uh, you know, I would say hua, but no. Because I'm airborne. But, uh, my duty station was Fort Campbell. That's what it asked me. It said, what's my duty station? I was stationed at Fort Campbell, 5th Group, SFG. Y'all know I'm talking about, y'all know I'm talking about Special Forces. So, I got a little bit of weight on my shoulder, you know what I'm saying? I'm a little lit. And for future questions to come, I was a mechanic in the military. Certified AC mechanic. Yes, that's me. But I worked on diesel engines. So, I can pretty much fix my car, which I did not too long ago. But, yeah. Somebody said, girls or guys. And I'ma just say both of them. Both of them. Hey. Why have one when you can have five? Why? When you can have nine. But come on now. I really want a polygamous relationship. But that's a combo for another day. Oh, and then the last one says first girl experience. My first girl experience was in college, y'all. It was with this stud, and she had came over to my dorm, and I was nervous, you know. She had her little strap in her backpack, and it was black. Like I said, nervous. But, you know, she did the eating. Then I did the eating. Because she was like, you know, they don't studs, they don't like the fake gay. You gotta be real gay. So I was real gay. And yeah. And then she was like, You sure this your first time? Yeah, bitch, I ain't never been down here before. You know? So Yeah. Dead was my first girlfriend. It was actually really great. I actually really, really enjoyed it. And I did it a few more times after that. I actually cheated on my boyfriend with her. Uh pfft. but that it don't matter. That's not even what we're talking about. I have grown. We have growth. But that is my question. Like, that's the question that y'all asked me. And they were some good questions. They were actually pretty fire. I'm happy that y'all are interested in my life, like, just a little bit. Or acting like y'all interested, whatever. But if y'all want some more questions, or if y'all have some more questions, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your notifications. That bell should be on all the time. Because I'm finna start dropping more videos. Next video I'm finna be dropping is gonna be how I tour my car. So, from making two bands a month to making five figures a month and touring cars and more. So, stay tuned for that because I got some real information that I want to give y'all that people did not give me that I found out on my own. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe, click on that notification bell, baby. And check out the next videos when I drop them. I'm glad you watched. Thank you, baby. And I will see you another time.